um, I think that the whole concept of government leadership over crisis and recovery process from the crisis is, is something that is really important. And that was also, I think, uh, recognized throughout the Sendai discussions as well. I think one of the main priorities that we'll have in discussion with government is refocusing our programs on the uh, some of the key components uh, within the disaster risk management uh, area. For example, risk, risk assessments. Um, I think a lot of, if we talk of development, sustainable development, uh, which is essentially having to safeguard the investments that are made, we need to have, we need to be aware of what is the risk in more detail. I think we need to prioritize by looking and investing more in risk assessments so that we have more information what the risk is and what can be done in development to reduce any losses that the countries may incur. The UNDP has always come forward to, to assist us and I think the UNDP can assist us especially in developing our uh, our early warning system and also in coordinating the issue of aid you know logistical support on how we have to proceed, uh, proceed. and also uh, for instance as we look at uh, certain areas which are prone to, uh, let's say, flood, because these things have been perpetual. Uh, or sometimes certain techniques on how we can convince the people uh, who stay in those areas for ages to stay maybe in the higher up. There's a lot that's come up in terms of looking at disaster risk management, not just as a um, a climatic issues that's looking at you know hazard related but also looking at what governance structures are there that are supporting this whole thing so I think that's one thing we also need to look into to see how we can improve the governance systems within the country not just with the with the, the department that we work in but uh, the government as a whole to see how best we can work, how best we can improve the governance system so that they, they support uh, the, the intended objective at the end of the day, which is to have you know, a, a risk-informed development agenda that you know, uh, safeguards the development. We will also look upon UNDP, especially in linking up with our district assemblies. Now, all these people, now it is time for them to be involved in the planning of uh, dealing with uh, this disaster. It should not be a top-down situation. It should come from down. The people should own it. Malawi can become a very good example, a very good model. UNDP um, is launching a, a new program. It's called 51050 program, and that's five components of uh, disaster risk reduction uh, for 10 years and then in 50 countries, 5, 10, 50 program, we'll have to be quite mindful of what kind of investment uh, and building that better uh, type of a concept will need to be implemented. So we definitely hope that Malawi will become a very good example for that for the rest of the world as well.